Uh, Dari, uh, good evening. Uh, we're trying to do a short video to demonstrate the flushing of the Tekin smart plug with a test motor operating system. Um, so the background is we've got a smart plug. It comes with uh, a, an app, an EWE link app, which allows you to control the power uh, remotely via your smartphone. We want to replace that with a test motor operating system and integrate it into our smart home infrastructure. We've got the plug um, out of its casing eventually, uh, as per the last two videos. And now we're down to the point where we're going to flush it. So here are the pinouts of the uh, SP23 UK Tekin plug. And here are the solderings of the USB to serial interface to the wires. You can see that? So for example, this top right hand wire is VCC and four down is receive. So the top wire there is VCC and four down is receive. And we need to temporarily short the GPIO one pin, which is top left, to ground whilst we power this device up. So here we go. All right. Grounding is just about to happen, so it's grounded. We're now going to plug and apply power to the interface. And we remove the ground. Ding. Now we're going to use the command line that we got from the ESP Easy tool, which is just a wrapper really, so I can't be bothered to use that anymore. So I've just taken the command line from a failed previous flushing and I'll put it into my uh, DOS command line if you like. And here we go. So, enter. And it's got it, it's flashing. So as a reminder, after this has been flashed, um, you've installed the, um, the Sonata.bin has been pushed onto that ESP chip. Um, we then restart the device and it will come up for the first time as a web server uh, with an SSID of Sonata and we can then connect to that web server and finish off the configuration. So I'm going to be finished. Uh, you can tell it's working by the way because of all the flashing here. You can see the code is being transmitted and that's indicated by the flickering. Great, it's done. So, as I say, the next step is to power this back on It'll come up with an SSID of, uh, sorry, Sonoff underscore something. We connect to that Sonoff. It'll, it, it, I think the web server always comes up with an IP address of 192.168.4. something. So we connect to that web server, uh, which is the smart plug, and then we finish off the configuration there. Once that configuration is finished, we put the plug back together again, which is going to require some soldering. We're going to have to put this electronics card back onto this uh, UK mains plug. And uh, we found out to our cost before. We tried to bend these pins, they broke off. So this time we're going to be very gentle. We've left the pins where they are, and we're going to place the electronics card back onto here, resolder this up, and then squish it back into this case, uh, which we did before with some glue, otherwise it wouldn't sit. Okay, thanks for watching.